Hi everyone! Welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palicka International, new artisan educator here. And today we are going to do uh, some kind of quick and easy uh, salon art with these beautiful flowers. Check this out. Yes, so I will show you step by step how to recreate this look. Uh, but also I would like to know what you think about the Q&A, because I'm thinking like you could ask me some questions and then we could do some tutorial where I will be answering all those questions, new related, maybe not new related, wherever you prefer really. And I would, would like to also show you uh, the new art display case because we have created so many different beautiful designs and my new art display cases is just getting full. Um, so I thought it would be nice to really share it. If you didn't see these tutorials, uh, go back to the previous uh, videos because uh, I'm showing all the step by steps, how they have been created. Uh, but also, also showing the structure of the news like a Russian almond, square, stiletto news, coffin news and lots of other useful tips. I would like to also say a huge thank you to every single person which keeps sharing this channel because I really appreciate that. I can see the numbers of the subscribers are growing and growing. Uh, so thank you so much for that. And a huge thank you to all the members which have joined the membership plans. I do really appreciate that. It means a lot to me. Thank you, thank you so much. But let's start doing this beautiful flower. So we are going to start off with the tips preparation <coughs> and I'm just uh, putting the white tip, going to give it a buff and then I show you all the step by step. I hope you are all doing well and I hope everything will just like be fine soon so we can go back. I'm so missing doing a client's nails uh, like a lot a lot. Um, I'm going to use 180 color from the upvoted. And I'm applying it kind of like messy ish. So that's the first layer. Now, the whole idea about it is to create a kind of nice background. So I need to uh, grab it into the petal shape. So, what I'm doing is I'm having a tiny bit of the uh, gel polish on my brush. And you can see it's almost created one petal, second one in the middle and third one in here. So this way we get kind of like a background. And then it will be nice to introduce another color. So I'm going to use the Thailand Beauty, which is like a purple one. And I'm going to do exactly the same. So three petals. Kind of smudge them a little bit. So this way we have created some kind of background. And I'm, now I can put it into the lamp and on the side on my mixing palette I can prepare my mixture. So I'm going to use a drop of this color, the drop of this color and my favorite paint on French white. So I'm just going to grab, this is kind of like an old gel brush. And I've got my mixture. Maybe a little bit more of this darker color. Cool. Then using my uh, one stroke brush, that's the one I'm going to use, I'm going to start painting those petals. You don't want them to be too light because we will outline it uh, lighter later on as well. So I'm just picking up pretty messy uh, color on my brush. Giving a wiggles and pressing harder than lighter to create those kind of shape of petals. Here I want the bigger petal. So I'm wiggling, wiggling, brushing it down, twist a little bit and then do the same on the other side. So, And this way we have created another petal. Here, press it hard. And another one we can do it here. So if I'm pressing hard, the petals are spreading more and then I'm lifting my brush so they are much more gentle. I can also straight away add a drop of the black. <clears throat> and I'm going to use the foil design gel. And my tiny brush, micro styler, which I've got in here. 
So I'm just putting a tiny bit of the black do the middle of the flower. And I quite like it because they look pretty impressive and they are pretty quick designs. Then remove excess of the product on my brush and now I'm going to do very tiny, tiny wee inside of the flower. So I've got some um, product here and I'm just brushing it away. This is a very delicate detail. Couple of the tiny lines. Okay, and once I'm happy with it, I can put it to the lamp to give it a cure. We also want to do the black outline, as you can see it here. So there is a black outline and we're needing some yellow and a white for the middle of the flower. So I'm just going to grab a drop of the yellow on the side. And I'm needing white as well. So I'm putting my white here and more black so we can do the outline. For the outline I'm going to use um, my other brush which has a slightly longer bristles. And actually I cut it this brush because it was much thicker, so I just cut it to the smaller size. Not the length, but just the thickness of it. Now I'm going to outline it. So the best way to outline it is don't worry about the outside, like kind of go all over the tip, like uh, even if you're painting in the air, because this way you can press it harder and it's much quicker. So I'm just outlining everything nice. Again, the slower we do it, the nicer it is going to be. Okay, just even out the places I have made too thick. Join them in, and this way we have created a nice outline. And now I can give it a cure. We don't have to cure it completely, it can be just a flash cure because um, the cure accumulates. I have to clean my brush so I'm able to do the veins on the petals. So I'm just cleaning it nice. And we need to prep our brush with the white paint. So really rolling my brush, getting nice and thin lines so we can do lots of motions inside the petals. Okay, so I've got some petal in here and I'm doing lots of lots of motions. Try to keep them kind of the same direction. So you can see this is a very delicate detail, but it exchange a lot. The paint on French is really highly pigmented gel, and um, sometimes I like to add a drop of the top coat. Um, so I've got a slightly better consistency depending what I needed it for. So lots of tiny wee lines. See, for this part it was a little bit too thick, so a drop of the top coat on my brush. Thin those paint on French. And now I can do them nicer. So lots of lots of wee lines. And this is very important that we do the lines as a, a first step before we will start outlining uh, the design because if we get outside um, the petal shape then we can just correct it later on. So again the same, just lots of lots of wee lines. 
And here the pressure is uh, not too big, like I don't want too big pressure. Okay, so I have created my lines and it looks pretty nice. I'm going to put into the lamp. And then once it's cured, we can just outline the detail and finish the middle. So as you can see, it is not overly too complicated and it doesn't take us much time. And most of you have asked it actually when I don't uh, pull um, with the votes. It was quite a lot of votes, which I'm really um, glad for. And most of you actually requested mainly the quick and easy uh, nail art. So I'm going to produce quite a lot of tutorials with very easy designs. I mean, I hope they are easy for you guys too. So I'm outlining and I want to have like a wee petal separation, like you can see it in the middle here. Same in here. You can also leave some places empty because if something is outlined too heavy, it doesn't look nice. Okay, so the petals looking like they are kind of uh, folded over a little bit. And the last line. Actually, I can fold this one over as well. So look what I'm doing. The bottom one, I'm going to go like this to fold it even more. So it looks like us bend it. We have to do the detail in the middle. And I'm going to start with the yellow and the drop of the white. Lots of tiny wee dots. Okay, and now once I'm happy with the yellow one, I can pop in my brush into the white without of cleaning the yellow, just to add a couple more tiny wee dots and basically we just have to top coat it and I think this design like first of all when we put the top coat everything smooths out really nice and looks much much nicer and um, and matte uh, I think looks best so I'm just going to use my velour top coat and I hope you have enjoyed another tutorial on the lockdown uh, if you did give me a like if you're new to this channel uh, hit the subscribe button as there is lots of tutorials like we have done some nail shapes, we have done some rainbows and like lots of lots of other um, different uh, designs. Please also guys keep sharing my videos as well so that other people can see it and the channel can grow a little bit uh, more. So I'm just putting in the matte top coat and I show you the final look because the top coat like you can also see it like even without of curing it's already smoothed out uh, the design and it looks much better. So don't worry when you've got those wee lines. That's the normal process of creating uh, this type of designs because the top coat is going to smooth everything. So I'm going to give it a couple seconds cure and then show you the final look. Also, I have put the link to the shop in the description of this video as well if you would like to get any stuff. And that's the final look. So really nice, kind of quick and easy designs to keep you busy and occupied in those time. Glittery hacks and bye for now.